Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, we're going to take you through a short scar facelift or a mini facelift that's done under local anesthesia. Most people take a little Valium so that they're not nervous. And we've done uh, 4,000 of these things. So uh, this is just is one example. So this is an attractive 58-year-old, she's a nurse, right, or PA? She's a PA. PA. Uh, from out of state who came in and she's a good looking lady to begin with and she does a lot of stuff to maintain her skins but she's got great anatomy meaning that she's got a thin neck and she's got a nice chin and the bone that her tongue turned a little bit to the side of the bone that her tongue sits on sits up pretty high it's not way down here and so that lets you have much more freedom in getting a rejuvenated neck and so here she is before and then here she is doing a short interview I think it's on the eighth day post-op how old are you? You're 58, right? Yes, 58. And you're an attractive lady here with your husband, and you've got great features, and your before pictures are up to your right. And we did a little short scar facelift with liposuction and your upper eyelids eight days ago. How much did it hurt? You can be honest. Uh, it didn't really hurt except for my ears the yeah. first 48 hours, a little bit of burning. Yeah. But no, you, no pain with my eyes. And you kept that wrap on religiously, right? Yes, I did. And so I still have to sleep in it for another five or six days. And uh, any kind of nonsense I pulled on you, it's, you're, re you're refreshed but not windswept, right? Right. And yes. you work in the uh, medical aesthetic industry. Yes. Right? Have you, you know, how does this compare with a lot of the stuff that you've seen out there? Well, I, I feel it's significant difference compared to like if you're going to do all therapy or even threads um, for about the same price, you can have uh, a more significant outcome. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yes. So other than her complaining about her ears uh, hurting for a few days, that's pretty typical. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the pain in the rear end for the patient is wearing this head wrap. So we do it under local anesthesia. And generally, if you follow the before instructions, meaning nothing that will thin your blood, there's very little bleeding. And in most not people, minimum bruising too. Yeah, not much yeah. bruising in mm -hmm. most people. And then, but the, you're wrapped up real tight for the first night so that there's no bleeding that occurs. And then we take that off the next day and check and make sure everything's okay. And then we put just a little light compression wrap that you wear for a week and then you sleep in it for another week. And the biggest problem is that people start feeling good and then they want to take that wrap off and go to the store or go to the PTA. Well, you day. like the results and you want to like show them off. But you got to wear that wrap, otherwise it just really things don't stick up where they need to, to stick. And what will happen over the next couple of, of weeks is that she's still a little swollen, her skin's a little tight. It, nothing's going to loosen up, but her swelling will go away, and so some of her fine lines will come back. This is a rejuvenation of the the muscles and getting rid of some of the fat in the neck and jowls. So that was pictures of our patient at day eight, and we saw her back for a scar check at about six weeks, and in at that time. Uh, I caught her and Wendy talking about not just surgery but skin care and the importance of it. So take a look at this little additional interview. Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Tammy, it's okay to use your name and your pictures and everything. Yes. And Wendy, and Tammy's an aesthetic health care provider in Maryland. And uh, we were just talking, and we did a little procedure on her. Her before and afters are in different parts of this video. And we were talking in another video about how women can choose to do fillers and laser and stuff that Tammy does in her office, or you can do lifting, which will address the gravitational component of aging. But sometimes it's probably best to do some of each, right? And so then I heard you two talking about it. So talk for a moment about what you just were saying. I was just saying that sometimes it's good to get your skin prepared with laser and different kind of um, skin care. The skin care. To get it ready, resurfacing. And stuff like that. So you did a lift on me, and I had... I had been doing different types of lasers to keep up mm -hmm. my procedure because mm -hmm. it was 10 years ago, nine years ago, exactly. Yes. And we were talking about that I'm going to your practice to get CO2. on Monday a CO2, mm -hmm. which the CO2 will resurface my skin, get rid of some dark spots, and help some tightening. With but collagen. With some, yes. And okay. it, it does give you a youthful look. Mm -hmm. The lift, 
like we were talking with Dr. Lindsay, definitely tightens up the skin and keeps those sutures there and those muscles don't go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. some things can only be done with surgical procedures and sometimes you just need to have that surgical procedure to have the lift and to get your usefulness back. Right. Um, and so, so let me just jump back, let me just jump back in here. So I think that some people do very aggressive surgeries and I'm not one of those. No. Days. I think that people look better when they look natural. I mean, I think you're an attractive lady to begin with, and we just made you look a little more refreshed. Mm -hmm. And by doing something like a short scar or a mini facelift and combining that with keeping your skin up yes. before and after, yes. I think that's probably the best solution for most, certainly not all patients, but there's not a lot of risk involved, not a lot of pain involved, certainly probably more financially manageable for yes. many people. Any kind of bullshit I've pulled on you in the years I've known you? No. And I worked on your son too, right? Yes. Okay. Did, did Thank you, you so much. Mind. Thank you so much for your business. Yes. Okay. And uh, I think people have a choice. They can do lasers or they can do lifting type surgeries. They can do both, but lasers typically, you know, if you're, unless you're doing something very aggressive, it's like 25 or 30 percent change. Yeah. With what, a week of downtime for most people? Yeah. It's about the same downtime for a lift, like for and with a mini lift. Yeah. And with something like this. On average, I'd say if you have good anatomy, we get 55 to 65 percent change in your neck and your jaws. And you know, I, I got plenty of women who have had lasers first and then we lift them, like this lady, and plenty of women who uh, do a lift now and then either go get lasered or we do a chemical peel in the in the winter time. And so the advantage of this is it's done under local anesthesia. It's not radical, and it's very safe. And uh, I think. It doesn't transform you, it just makes you look refreshed. Right? Yes. If we can help you, give us a call. Thank you.